There's nothing quite like watching vile scumbags get their comeuppance. And there's nothing quite like the gritty, raw 70s, early 80s style rendition of watching victims of abuse, violence, and emotional trauma get revenge on said vile scumbags. One of the lesser discussed and noted films in this revenge genre is 1981's Miss 45, a movie that's as good, if not better, than similarly themed iterations. Hey everyone, this is Jan Man, and this is a look back at Miss 45, directed by Abel Ferrara. The plot of Miss 45 is quite simple. A young woman, Thana, walks home from work and is suddenly pulled into an alleyway, raped in broad daylight, and upon returning home, finds that another man has broken in and she is raped again. Emotionally traumatized, she enlists the help of a 45 and is out for revenge on any man who remotely seems as though he has or will take advantage of a woman or use sex as a weapon. There are several factors that make this movie stand above so many other revenge movies of this type. First and foremost is Zoe Tamerlis, who plays Thana, aka Miss 45. Not only does she have this magnetic screen presence, but the character is also mute, which means all the acting has to be done through expressions, gestures, and the eyes. Therefore, it makes the performance and ability to command viewers' attention all the more impressive. Her transformation from a meek seamstress to a victim of an ugly double rape to Stone Cold Killer, going so far as to even kill innocent men en masse, is remarkable. And equally remarkable is that Tamerlis was only 17 years old while filming, although as the movie progresses and with the application of makeup and provocative attire, her physical age range seems to increase as though she were nearly 30 years old. Another strong factor benefiting this movie is the New York City setting. It's grungy, gritty, disheveled, and consequently fittingly unnerving given what happens to Thana and her subsequent acts. The camera work also has quite a bit of style, particularly for the movie's finale in which Thana attends a costume themed party dressed as a nun with bright red lipstick and visible lace stockings underneath. By this point, her trauma combined with desensitization to killing peaks with her going on a mass shooting spree of men even if they are innocent. The slow motion, close-ups, and changing color hues, tones, and timing captures both a surreal and nightmarish scene. The cinematography, combined with a score composed of various punchy horns or brass instruments throughout the movie, gives it a unique, clearly artistic look and feel. While the acting and a few lines delivered by some aren't exactly award-winning, and the costume party itself prior to Thana going on her mad shooting spree at the end is a bit outdated, if not inducing an unintentional snicker or two, Miss 45 is a solid revenge film that deserves credit for its overall artistry and a memorable, entrancing, multi-layered performance from Zoe Tamerlis, one that seemed custom-made for her.